Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaw here, and today I want to chat with you guys a little bit about why it can be very, very hard to sell uh, hypertrophy work to powerlifters. Right? And this is something I've noticed, uh, and it's not just powerlifters, but anyone who's pursuing strength. Um, one of the things I've noticed, and of course you guys see me in this clip, everything I'm doing is 12 plus reps. Right? It's a bunch of, of higher rep work uh, doing hypertrophy. And for people who watch my vlogs, one of the things you guys notice is that if I have been doing a little bit more moderate reps and I go over to, to higher rep training for a bit, sometimes some of my top lifts will stall, they'll regress a little bit, and then eventually in the long term they'll start climbing back up. Okay, they'll start climbing back up. Um, and, and it's kind of like I've heard in a, a discussion I heard uh, Dr. Mike Israel tell uh, you know, was talking at one time about, uh, well, you know, that fast weight increase bench is not necessarily to do a bunch of high rep dumbbell presses. They'll increase it in the long term, but that takes a long time, right? He's like, that takes a long time. You know, people want faster strength. And it's because, you know, you're not, you're not training the neurological side. You're training the hypertrophy side, the muscular side, and that uses up uh, recovery. And building new tissue takes a really, really long time. Okay, it takes time. I mean, building muscle is a slow process. We know this. Like, how many years does it usually take you to get jacked? It takes years and years, right? Consistent years uh, sometimes to really put on a serious amount of muscle mass, you know, of real lasting, true tissue growth. And, you know, here's the thing that you see with that. When you take a lot of people who've been pursuing strength, and I've even seen this in guys who manage to get to an elite level, and then they're stalling, they're regressing. You know, they, they're kind of hitting that wall. Uh, they could be a competitor. They might not be. I've seen this in the case of clients who, uh, you know, they just wanted to be strong. You know, I had a guy talking, you know, like a 300 bench. He was at a 300 bench. So, uh, this is a client I had with this sort of issue. He was squatting just over 400. You know, pretty decent little strength base. But he had done almost all of it with lower reps, like nothing over about six reps. Like very, very, very little of, of anything beyond that. Occasional some of his smaller exercises. Um, I've seen it with more elite lifters who did all their base building. Who were, you know, big frames, really genetically gifted, so they're going to be strong. Right? They're going to get strong a lot easier. You know, they'll, they'll train all that way. They'll do heavy assistance work, heavy primary lifts, you know, but, but almost nothing over about five to six reps. You know, very, very little. And if they do, it'll be um, limited exercises, you know, their upper back stuff, things like that. They might have done eights. And when you start prescribing for them higher volumes of work, they, they rebel. They don't like it. They don't like it at all. Like, this is exhausting. All, the, all this is doing is working on my conditioning. Uh, it's making me tired. I'm getting weaker. Right? I, and that's always your big complaint. I'm getting weaker. And it's because they're not, they're not conditioned to it. They're not used to it. And now they're using recovery resources on, on some of this hypertrophy type work. And I want to be clear. I'm not saying you don't gain muscle from lower reps. But it can be very difficult to, to get enough volume to, to maximize growth. And more often than not, a lot of these guys, if they are doing the lower reps, they're, they're definitely not limit sets, you know, if they're, if they're doing any significant volume. And so, you know, again, I've dealt with that with some of these lifters, and it's like they're, they've got a reasonable muscle mass, but they're, they're not really thick yet. Okay, they're not really thick yet. They haven't put in enough, enough time of, of doing volumes of work to have really gotten that, that thick look, even if they have big lifts, you know, because again, they've got really good genetics, or, you know, big frames, things like that. Okay, it matters. And it's very hard to sell them on this, even though we know it's the case. We know that over time, all that, that extra muscle that we lay down will let us move bigger weights. It'll also let us do it safer. You know, it doesn't it doesn't pound our joints into the ground. Hey, it doesn't it doesn't beat us up the same way. Um, and this is kind of the way the way that I usually train, and I've I've gotten the best results over time when I do it this way. To where I come in, I do enough heavy work, do enough heavy work to get the job done, enough heavy work to get the neural drive, get the strength up. You know, to help feed my my. Uh, 
other work, my hypertrophy work. Like, you know, even these, these things you guys see me doing here, all these workouts, I, you know, I did some five or six rep, you know, fairly heavy bench and squatting before, you know, these other lifts you see me doing, such as all the pressing and, uh, you know, the safety bar squats and things, all right? Do, do some heavier work. And then I'm on those workouts, I'm over here doing all this, this volume, you know, within, within a reasonable amount, it's not just junk volume you know, of challenging hard rep work, okay? And what I've found is that this is, this is the way to make it in the long game. You know, it's kind of like that point that, you know, Dr. Mike has said, yeah, but that takes a really long time to benefit. And my response to that is, okay, but the time is gonna pass anyways. Time is gonna pass anyways. And if, and if we do maximize our, our lean body mass, okay, maximize you know our tendons our muscle mass we build we build this big foundation over time okay we're not going to get us beat up we're not going to get us beat up we're going to last longer and we're going to end up moving some real big weights because a bigger muscle has more strength potential you know, the heavy work will actualize that potential. Will absolutely actualize that potential. But, you know, building that foundation, but that's the thing. Once guys get caught up in the, in the other mindset, it's hard, it's really hard to sell them on it. And they tend to rebel. And, you know, that's one of the things I found, unfortunately, even as a coach, a lot of times your clients will they'll drop because of that they're like no nah, or or they'll flat refuse i've had clients tell me i refuse to do 10 rep benching in rows anymore maybe rows but not benching certainly not leg work well as a coach then what do you do what do you do i mean we know it's proven it's going to work in the long term these are lifters who are used to chasing that short-term gratification. And then they don't know what to do anymore. The problem is then they're stalling. They're like, well, I got to this point and, you know, my bench got whatever. Now it's down 20 pounds. I got to this level on a squat. Now it's down 20 pounds. And I'm like, well, you're going to have to build some muscle. You have to build some more muscle. You know, but then that's the problem. They don't see the immediate the immediate change. The guys who, who I see the immediate changes when I take them on as clients are the guys who are just doing too much volume and I cut it back. I, and then they, they start PRing once I dial their training in. But guys on the other end, you know, who are only doing a bunch of heavy work. It's real hard to sell them on it. And they don't believe in it. Even though we know it works. You know, just food for thought for a lot of you guys out there who, who run into that. Realize that, that you are playing the long game when you do that. And it does work and it will work. It will work. All right, guys, but that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative and I'll talk to you guys next time.